Welcome to video 3 in the Trimlight Select Plus series. In this video, we will discuss setting up your timer and calendar functions. The timer and calendar function is one of the most useful features of your new Trimlight system. The benefit is, it not only allows you to set your favorite patterns to turn on and shut off at the times you specify each day, the calendar feature also gives you the capability to program your holiday patterns to come on and shut off at specified dates throughout the year. In other words, you can pre-program your lights to come on and shut off for every major holiday, sporting event, or special occasion, months in advance, or even a year in advance if you so choose. Here is how to program your timer and calendar. First, make sure your Trim Light app is on, press enter, then touch the clock icon, and you will be taken to the scheduling screen. As you will notice, the scheduling screen lists all of the preset holidays as well as any custom patterns you may have saved for future events. It is important to note that any of these patterns can be edited or removed by sliding the name to the left, which gives you the option to rename or delete that program. Simply touching any of these scenes will also automatically put your lights on that scene. To access your timer settings, touch the schedule button near the bottom. Now you have a couple options here. First, you can set a daily timer by touching on daily schedule one. This could be used for light patterns you may want on every night, such as warm white or security lighting. You will see four areas you need to address. The first is repetition, where you can pick from a few options, such as today only, every day, only weekdays, or only weekends. Second is the library. This is important as you will need to select which preset holiday or custom pattern you want displayed on the daily schedule. The third setting is your start time and the fourth and final setting is your off time. Once you have selected those times, press save, then OK. Finally, turn on your timer by touching the toggle button then press close and your daily timer is all set. You will notice there is also an option for a second daily schedule. This feature can be used to create an additional lighting feature that you may want to turn on and shut off at a separate time. For example, during Christmas, you could have a Christmas pattern set to turn on at 6 p.m. and shut off at 10 p.m. on daily schedule one. Then you could have a warm white accent pattern or security lighting that turns on at 10 p.m. and shuts off at 1 a.m. on daily schedule two. You would follow the same steps and make sure your timers are on for them to take effect. Now let's talk about creating a calendar event. This feature gives you the ability to program your lights several months in advance or even out an entire year. To schedule a calendar event, press the schedule button at the bottom of the screen and then touch on create the calendar event. These numbers represent the months of the year. To set up an event, simply touch the number correlating to the month you want to set up in, then select the day or days you want your lights to come on. I will choose month 7 for July, and I am going to set up my lights to come on from July 1st through July 5th by simply tapping those days. And you will see it populates all the days in between the two dates selected. Then click Next, and you are asked to select your pattern as well as your start time and off time. I'm going to select Independence Day, have my lights come on at 9 p.m. and shut off at midnight. Select Create and your calendar event will be saved. Touch Close on the upper right and you are finished. Notice if you go back into the schedule screen and select create a calendar event, you now see month seven highlighted. This is simply notifying you that you have a saved calendar event for that month. If you need to delete a calendar event, simply touch on the month then touch any of the highlighted days and you will see the screen showing your current settings. You can simply press the delete button at the bottom followed by OK and your calendar event will be removed. Close the calendar and you're back to the main scheduling screen. Now this is very important to remember. You must go back to the main settings screen and shut off your trim light system in order for your timer and calendar setting to go into effect.
This concludes video three on how to connect your trim light system, how to create and save holiday patterns or custom patterns, and how to set those patterns to a daily timer or as a calendar event. You should now have all of the information you need to get the most out of your new trim light system. Please watch video four for more information in learning how to connect your trim light system to your home Wi-Fi network. Thanks for watching.